Well, no pre uh, pressure there, Matilda Ekholm. The 35-year-old from Sweden up against the world number one. The lefty, known as Big Baby. What oh, hasn't she won? Well, she's done everything really. She's looked uh, happy, relaxed, and of course, she must be one of the favourites to win the, in the grand final later on. But uh, she only drew yesterday, of course, with Cheng Ai Ching. Uh, sudden death point at the end as well. So that was uh, interesting. Dilda Ekholm, been a good 2017 for her so far. Got into the highest ever ranking of 20 earlier on in March. Lost 3-2 here to Yang of Team Mays yesterday. But uh, she's certainly a player to be considered and reckoned with. And two lefties as well, so there's not that clash left-right. So she has been as high as 20. She's down at 33 at the moment, but uh, has won several women's doubles uh, titles this year. And also is the Swedish champion. Ding, ding, though. No. Oh, what hasn't she won? I was there to enjoy her win when she took gold at Rio in the singles after not winning in London. And two at Olympic Games team golds in the last two years. Mr. Lowe, once again, is the man you don't want to mess with. Well, I think here, if we're being realistic, Ekholm trying to win at least Ekholm one set Sussar. here to just keep Lamp the team off. ticking over. It's a tall order, isn't it, against the world number one, but it, you've got to be clear in your head that you just play your game. Don't be intimidated. Voila. There you go. How about that for a starter? An opening gambit. Black. One love. Love two. And that will settle the nerves if there were any from the, the Swedish player's side. That one's long though. Look on. Looks like she's resolved to attack. I'm just looking around. I can't see her in the comfy seats, but uh, yesterday, of course. Ting's mum was here. Two, three. Full of smiles and enjoying herself. It's nice to see. Three off. Another good fight here, Ekon. Two, three. Ding. Not really wanting the towel break. Little look over her shoulder from Ekon, thinking she's actually got the math wrong. Yeah, I had a towel break after Ekon. each. Six points. Three off. So if we just usher her back to the table. Four three. Very high bounce on that serve. Tucked up back home a little bit. Oh yes. Four. Elegant. It's the second time she's done that in this match so far, early on. Lovely inside, mustn't it? Real bit of poetry. Oh, just long. Yeah, Ding and De Dolgen is a very un Chinese, uh, long smashing rallies. And she prevailed in the end. Taking Echo off her feet, the power she's putting through. <laughs> Five off. Ding. Pretty inscrutable normally, but you could tell she enjoyed that exchange. Five, six, 
That was a great serve and it was a lucky return. <laughs> Not much you can do about that, even if you're world number one. Great serve. Seven, five. As you were watching that replay, Ekholm just uh, teased him into an air shot. That's when it's tough. You're getting all your spin back from the serve. Look at that checking up. Well, that will really fill it. Ekholm. She's done well on the tour in the doubles. She's Seven, done well singles-wise at the European Championships. Just think Eight, what it will do to her confidence going forward. She's already 35, but she's in pretty good nick, isn't she? Looking good here. Started off really well, linking back hands and forehands together. Six, nine. Went through the net. And it's unfortunate. Again, these two are quite happy to trade blows away from the table. Sound like they're having a fist fight, you know what I mean. Oh, the gap is closing. It's a dangerous tactic from Ding, though, spinning low into the, the Ekholm forehand, because if she does come around that and make the table, it's a strong shot. Nine, eight. Time out straight away called by Jiang Jialing to bring Ekholm in to stop the momentum of Ding. Trying to assert some authority here. Even in slow motion, she looks like she's got all the time in the world. Hi. So this is it right here for Matilda Ekholm. Can she win this first set? Deserving of this one point lead so far. Nine, eight. Just went for the big shot. Couldn't get to it. Nine apiece with Ding having the serve. She'll take the towel break for as long as she possibly can. And once again, Ding not bothered at all. Brought back to the table by the referee. Only have 15 seconds, even for a towel break. Ekholm looking for the half-long serve, but it just wasn't there. Flies back. Batted away. Oh, and what a comeback from Ding. That's why she's world number one. Found herself in a tight spot, got herself out of it. See the way there, that was a, a closing out point. Suddenly, a serve she hadn't used for the whole set. Chuck one of those in, and there you go. As we see, a nice 11 9. Makes it look like it's comfortable. Certainly wasn't. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what Ekholm does now. Whether that Thank has you. clipped her wings a little bit, or whether she's still going to come back and try and repeat that. Lightning start of the first game. Second game, Ding to serve, love off. One love. down in the stats is an unforced error. Two, one. Once again, she's in the mix. Oh, 
Too much power. Not really a defensive player per se, Nicole. Really fast on the forehand. Still 16 minutes in this game. That lovely changing of serve, changing of spins and placement. Once again, Ding really not bothered about taking the towel. She's saying, let's get on with this. So the so referee. <laughs> no yellow cards or red cards, which they are allowed to uh, produce if they think there's a deliberate slow play. Second yellow or a red means a loss of a point. Lost if that had been landed by a comp. It was on the floor. Oh, she got up really quickly as well, to be fair. What a shot that was. Off balance, still landed it. Starting to get a bit frustrated. No, Ekholm, she's playing well, but. Yeah, it's like playing against a brick wall. It keeps coming back to you. Three, seven. Good shot from Jing, it was run into her body. She was leaning back to get onto the forehand. And this is a little less equal this game. That was a well, carbon copy, two Left. of them. Three Kept to balance. Shoulders are going down a little bit. The Swede, but that's the difference in the the flexibility between the, the two of them. When that shot goes low Nine, three. into Ding Ning's body, she's able to contort, move out of the way, stay low. Little well, upset her the way in the manner which she lost that first game because against Ding Ning, all the other players will be thinking right, it will be important. If I can get a, a game, a point off Ding Ning, then I've done all right. And that might actually propel me into the last four for the grand final because these sort of margins may well come into play. Wraps it up nice and easily and it was a bit of a, a soft return from Ekholm. That one there was really up to a normal standard. And it's two games to nothing at the moment for Ding. And we have, what, about 12.45 on the clock. So there's still a lot of time to go. And if it's, she's not careful, Matilda Ekholm, it could get messy for her. Well, the difference there was Ding Ning getting off to a quick start in the set so she can just relax and play like practice mode. And when the Chinese are like that, that's when they really are two or three levels ahead of players 20, 30, 40 in the world. When they're in their comfort zone. If you're able to just knock them out of that comfort zone, you might have a chance. As Ekholm did in the first uh, game here, but couldn't make, couldn't make it count, okay. couldn't make it stick. A console star, love all.
third game then. Echo and it's underway. Last one. Times. Really fast from Ding Ning. And uh, the juggernaut continues. Three luck. Don't envy Ekom trying to stop the flow here. Lovely change of service again. Just at the last second. Carving right underneath the ball. Left. Left. Four. An uphill struggle again for the Swede. Oh, that's a good Love idea. Five. It wasn't far away. Frustration starting to seep into Echo at the moment. Oh. This is going to be like the old days when you reached up to 21, got, wasn't it? Got up to 11 and you stopped. It was 11 nothing. Start again. I'm looking at. Gavin, he's too young to know these things. You whippersnapper. I was born in 2001. Six, one. I'm pretty sure that's not true. to climb for Ekholm oh, here in this third game. Seven, three. Oh. All of a sudden the body language starts to change for Ekholm. She thinks, well, a few points here. Let's get some more, see what happens. Points in a row for Ekholm. Excellent uh, recovery. And I think it's uh, Ding Ning's corner who've called the timeout. Well, that's a little victory in itself for Matilda Ekholm. Mind you, if you are a Jorgen person, what do you say to the word number one? I guess it's more to do with uh, how you're feeling the game itself, not finer points of technique. I know the tactic at the, the very start of the game, just before they came to the table, Jorgen said, speed up a little bit between points, and that's exactly it. They want to accumulate as many sets here as possible. Oh, well, she has two. Of course, the head-to-head uh, -head against Pearson and Team JJ, well, you can see there we're only into the second Five, game and it's already 6-1. Five, 
five game points to wrap up a third game with still eight and a half minutes left on the clock. Could be a five gamer this one. Six ten. better quality on that low spin down the line. If you're going to go to the Ding Ding forehand, it's got to be spinny and it's got to be low. Oh, and it's long. Played that virtually on her knees. And there's still only two points between these two. Could there be an unlikely comeback? This time, Ding Ding does take the towel as we see her uh, stooping to try and conquer. Players? But uh, wasn't in the best position to try and launch the attack. Paid the price. 10 8. Ding Ding has the serve. Can we see something special here perhaps? Now well, she wraps it up eventually. So seven minutes on the clock. And we'll certainly get another one in. May may go into the kill zone. Very low, really like 15 seconds here. We'll be called back on the court pretty soon. This is the uh, moment that Ekom known she'd gone three games to love down in this match. Time. Ding to Yes, Ding forgetting it's 2 2 for a moment there. Don't need to change ends. What a La great opener one. for this fourth game. Little smile from Ding. Even though she lost the point, it was a nice way to open up. a little bit far away from the shot there, just leaning out, stretching a bit too far. Oh yes, quick feet, quick mind as well there. Little fist bump. from the table at the end of the day. Still four minutes on the clock. We could get ourselves into a, a last fifth Please. game. Depends on how long it takes for these two to get it on. You know how long the rallies are. There's every chance. Two, four.
Not enough length on that return from Ekholm. And Jing eventually managed to put her away. Not quite the sort of power the men have, perhaps, to slam home a winner. But they kept going. She was clever there not to miss as well. Just playing at 70, 80%. And then when there was a shorter ball, she stepped in there. Amazing to think that all started from a really good forehand from Ekholm as well. Seven, two. Amazing to think Ding only managed to draw 2-2 two -two yesterday. She looked amazing. And Ekholm has not had a bad match, but uh, what do you do against this woman? Again, a mini revival from Ekholm. I wonder whether she's thinking, whatever happens, let's not get into the kill zone. If I lose this one, let's just lose it. I mean, the time has run out. She'll take a very slow towel down now does Matilda Ekholm see in the background in 37 seconds. Four, oh, ten. Very possible. No, I can't. Win the point and take your time. Game point, six of them, four Ding Ning. It's like Djokovic here, the amount of time she's bounced that ball. <laughs> there you Five, go. Ten. I reckon she might well have just final point called. I reckon might just have saved herself an extra game loss. 11, 5, that was a tired shot from Ekholm at the end. But a 4 to nothing win for Ding Ning. The world number one showing why she is at the top of the perch when it comes to women's table tennis. And Ekholm, who didn't have a bad day at the office yesterday, Losing 3-2 to, to Yang. She loses again, but slightly more emphatically. Looked well beaten by the end. That was really solid. A commanding display from the world number one. A little bit ropey in the first set. But once she managed to get over that, she came through comfortably. Yeah, win all four. And, uh, well, so far, Team Pearson and a thrashing Team JJ. And look at uh, the 38% serve won. And uh, compare that to Ding Ning. And that will be instructive as to the, the story of this game. And compared to other matches we've seen, only 18 errors to 13 unforced errors. It was accumulated far less than some of the other matches we've watched so far. So credit to both girls there. Start off like a... Real rocket to uh, Ekholm. She did really well and looked like she might take that first uh, game. But slowly, slowly, Ding Ning reeled her in. Showed her class and her composure by taking that first game and then really never looked back. And there were some great table tennis, some really good exchanges. But you always felt that uh, even though she lost the odd one, Ding Ning would prevail. Funny enough, Gavin said to me before commentary I reckon this will finish four to nothing and guess what it did 11, 5, 